Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Leela. I own a small business where I sell vintage clothing online mostly, but a little bit in person too. And today I have a haul for you guys. I've got four big bags of clothing here. A little backstory on this sourcing trip is that I just went this past weekend down to Brimfield, Mass to meet with Donna, who is the manager of the vintage fashion tent at Mahogany Ridge. So I've secured a spot in that tent for the July Brimfield show. So if you happen to be in Brimfield, Massachusetts, um, or are going to that show, definitely come to the vintage fashion tent. It's going to be wild. It's going to be my, my first time selling at Brimfield. And I have a little bit of experience setting up in-person spaces and such, but this will be, you know, a big learning experience for me, but I'm really excited about it. So anyway, we went down to ask questions and plan and prepare for those eight days that we're going to be down there in July. And while we were there, we thought we would just do some sourcing, right? Why not go thrifting? There's always reason to go thrifting. So we went to a Goodwill outlet, we went to a Savers, and we went to a Salvation Army. So this is everything from those places, and I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys what we got. First thing I got is this L.L. Bean classic little Fair Isle piece. I'm always sourcing for winter for these more substantial pieces, even though it is getting increasingly warmer here in Maine. Got this from the Salvation Army, paid $4.99. Not a bad price for a piece such as this that is 100% wool, super timeless style. So excited about that one. Also found these L.O. Bean flannel line jeans at that store, paid $5.99 for those. They have that really fun, um, kind of like a starburst flannel pattern. So. I always pick these up when I find them. I sell them on Etsy. They do pretty well for me consistently. Um, and it's something that I've been selling for a really, really long time. I always do a flannel line denim drop um, around when the colder season starts. So I'm collecting these all year for that drop. It takes me almost an entire year to curate a collection of these. So um, gotta get started ASAP. All of this stuff, some of it's going to Etsy, some of it is going to my booth at the Fairfield Antique Mall, some of it's going to Brimfield for July, so I kind of am sourcing for all of these different locations all at once, which is kind of exciting and uh, makes it interesting. I found this other pair of flannel line jeans with the classic plaid. They are older, which is always good, classic high-rise mom jean fit. I found these at the bins, you guys. <laughs> I was so excited. Um, they are pretty heavy, so they did add quite a bit of weight to my pile, but I was so excited to find these for, my cost of goods for the bins was around $1.70 per item. So I scored these for $1.70. Really, really excited about that. I don't really go to the bins a lot because it's so far away. The only bins location in Maine is in Gorham, which is about, I would say, a little over an hour and a half from my house. So we only go if we're like passing through that area. It's not often that I get to go. So when I do get to go, it's very exciting. But I'm also not really like that good at bins shopping. Like I get really nervous and I'm intimidated by kind of the scene and there's always like you know, the people that have their carts in the corner and they're there all day and they find like the really good stuff and they know what they're doing and I'm very intimidated by them. And so I need to get more comfortable with that. I need to go to the bins more often, make friends. Everyone there is super nice. Just need to be confident and just go for it because the cost of goods there is uh, unbeatable. So I also got this at the bins. It's cotton. It's also a heavier, more substantial piece. So maybe I shouldn't have gotten it. I don't know, but it's a really nice knit turtleneck sweater. Perfect for winter. Also winter <laughs> is this one. 
with the fair isle kind of snowflake kind of situation going on super cute i like the button the henley buttons here so these are all great pieces for winter that i'll save and i'll be nice and stocked up when that season comes around i also found and i found that at the bins too I found this at the bins just a wool two-piece set in a nice pinstripe pattern this has pockets and I just liked that it was still together the two pieces and like a really nice the quality when you feel it is really nice so and also got this from the bins this is a mohair is it mohair yeah it's a mohair wool blend sweater by Talbots but it's lined which I thought was really unique and I think the pattern is super cool. It does have a few little snags. I'm just gonna go in there and touch those up. I think it's worth it, um, especially with the cost of goods being so low and it being more of a substantial piece, I decided to go for it. I don't really mind doing repairs. I know some people really dislike it. I don't, I don't mind it that much. Sometimes it's annoying, but if I think it's worth it, I'll try it out kind of thing. So, moving on, this pair of shorts I got from the Salvation Army, paid $3.99 for them, and they're just like little 70s kind of men's like sport swim shorts, but what I really liked about them were these square buttons and this pocket in the front. Like, look at those buttons, they're so cute. Just like a nice, I don't know. I feel like someone is gonna want these. They're gonna want that super short 70s men's short style. Got this also at the Salvation Army for $4.99. Um, it is a like vintage cardigan with some really lovely beading. It's acrylic. Thought that was really sweet and perfect for Brimfield. This is an acrylic cardigan with some really cute um, patch pockets in the front, cable knit, got that for $2.99 from Salvation Army. The next thing is this skirt, the price fell off, but I got that for $3.99. I'm obsessed with this skirt. The front has this adorable buckle detail, but look at the shape of it, a little like skater style. The back has a button and an old metal zipper. Got to do some research on this one and, and date it, but it is just so cute. Such a timeless style, but obviously pretty old, like my guess is 60s. So love that one. Also got this. This is the one that's lamb's wool. It's got a collar, just a little cardigan style. Um, really cute cream color, cute buttons. So I liked that one. Brand is Jaeger. I got this one at the bins. Also got this one at the bins. Dark purple Janssen sleeveless sweater vest type thing. Such a versatile, cute piece. Got this from the bins as well. Had a, has a tag on it from like some other time that it was purchased down the line somewhere, but um, this is the brand. And it's just like a really cute lightweight jacket with a little like cinch at the waist. I'm not really holding it right, but that's what it looks like. I thought it was a cute kind of casual piece. Casual vintage is my favorite kind of vintage. Vintage that you can wear every day, um, wear it out, you know, just use it all the time. It's my personal favorite type of vintage to source. Next thing I got is this handmade sweater. Got this one at the bins. I love the raglan sleeves and the simple style and the sort of oatmeal cream color. I think that's really cute. Um, doesn't need any men's. I think it's an acrylic blend, so kind of easy to care for but 
I like stuff like that, like staple pieces, stuff that's easy to style. And also got this one from the bins. This is a 70s acrylic cardigan with a cool kind of unique button collar. Nothing super crazy or unique, but just a really nice staple piece that can add some vintage flair to your outfit. Love when sweaters have these patch pockets and it has a cute like double button design as well and the buttons are wood so that's cool also got this from the bins just a cute 80s sweater vest with a kind of i don't know what would you call this like hound's toothy just kind of a unique geometric print that i thought was cute and there's the label so I do think I need to get a little bit more picky when I go to the bins and not you know when you're at the bins and you're just like oh my god I can't believe I'm finding all of this vintage and then you end up grabbing things that maybe you're you wouldn't grab at the thrift thrift store and I need to kind of just go through my cart more deeply at the end and make sure that what I'm getting is actually like really good quality inventory and you know just be careful that I'm not grabbing too much that's lower tier um I mean I think all vintage is great but just in terms of um pricing and how much I can get for things and how much my time is worth to photograph it and list it and all of that stuff so this I was excited to find this is a JG hook um heavy wool blazer vest it'll be great for winter um I love the plaid kind of pattern, but fun fact about JG Hook is that my dad's childhood best friend um, was the son of the man that created JG Hook. So every time I see it, I'm like, oh, I know, sort of know the person that started this company, but I, he told me a story about how um, his childhood best friend's mom's closet was full of vintage JG Hook and it just got, you know, when she got older, it just got donated and it, oh, my heart hurts because I would have loved to have those pieces, but this was decades ago. Um, you know, sometimes it's just so much easier for people to get rid of stuff, donate it, um, you know, move along, forget about it. That's what they need to do. And, um, so that's fine, <laughs> but sometimes I think about all of that vintage sitting in her closet. Um, wished I'd had a chance to see what JG Hook pieces were in there, but anyway. I also got this beautiful hand knit, like Aran. This geometric is called like an Aran knit, A-R-A-N, I believe. Um, it has really pretty buttons and it is, I think it had a hood that you could like snap button into it, but couldn't find the hood. So kind of a bummer, but it's a really beautiful piece. I did find this at the bins. So I was really excited about that. So much of this haul is like knits and winter stuff. Um, it's probably why my cart was expensive, <laughs> but this is maybe my favorite thing that I found for the entire thrift trip. And I did find this at the bins as well. But it is a little cropped 1970s uh, sweater vest in like this beautiful sort of marl tethered kind of, uh, oh, space dye. This is called space dye, I think. <laughs> um, just beautiful knit pattern in a green and green and white and sort of camel color in there. But I think this is so cute, like such a cute piece for styling and just straight out of the 70s. So love that one. And we'll just keep going here. So I got this vintage Alo Bean flannel at Salvation Army for $5.99. This does have some wear to it. It's got a place where a button was blown out, but I am so nostalgic for this um, black watch plaid pattern by L.L. Bean. And I know that someone is going to want this for casual everyday wear. These flannels are 100% cotton and just like the softest thing you've ever felt in your whole life. So 
couldn't leave this one behind despite its flaws. I really wanted to take that home with me. I got this from the bins. This is a Talbot's 100% cotton um, ribbed turtleneck in kind of a cropped fit. It was just too cute and too versatile not to grab that for Etsy. Um, just really soft and like so thick. Like the material on this is like such a thick and heavy knit. And I love finding those pieces that are more substantial, even though they may like appear to be simple. I think someone is gonna make a lot of use of that. So also found this at the bins. This is a vintage 90s, the limited wool wrap mini skirt. It's so cute. I can't wait to get this listed in the shop. It's got like a really cute stitch on the edge, a really cute pattern. I love the 90s and I love the limited. So that was a fun find. Also got this from the bins. I ended up getting 43 pieces from the bins. So a lot of this is the bins. <laughs> so um, this isn't super old, but it is a rayon um, kind of check but blouse button down, um, whatever you want to call it. But it has a really cute three, three set button style. And then the back was what I really liked about it. it has that little detail at the bottom. But I think that's a great, um, simple and lightweight 90s piece to throw up on Etsy. Um, easy to ship, easy to list. I also got, I'm not sure if I should have gotten this, you guys, but um, kind of a funky 80s, 90s pastel, kind of spring tone sweater vest. Um, I do like the pattern. I just don't know if I should have um, forced myself to have to keep it for, well, maybe I don't have to keep it until next winter because the pattern is pretty springy. So maybe I will just go ahead and list it and get it up there, but it's got a button front down there. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Again, I was at the bins. I was getting excited. So I got it. <laughs> This is a cotton knit sweater in this adorable purple color. It's cropped. I tried it on because I was like, I think I have to keep this, but it doesn't quite suit me and the sleeves are too long, but that's okay. I'll just list it on Etsy, but it is in my favorite kind of pastel purple color and so heavy, 100% cotton knit. So really liked that one. Got this too. I think I got this at the bins. It's a purple vest with kind of a cute knit on the edges here, but in front, it's that gorgeous color that I just absolutely love, kind of a lavender purple. I got these Y2K uh, LEI Life Energy Intelligence, <laughs> just very 2000s-esque jean shorts. I find that those do pretty well for me. Um, really any pair of shorts, vintage shorts I can get my hands on, um, sells well for me. This was a Y2K moment for sure. I got this at the Savers. Um, I got these at the Savers as well. We're getting into Savers stuff. So these are a Y2K low rise bareback flare leg jean by Massimo with little patch pockets in the front. I don't personally wear the Y2K style, but I see the appeal. So we're going for it. I got this pair of vintage Levi's. They're a men's 505 style. And they've got that lovely paper tag that we try to look for. They came out in 2001. So they are vintage. Um, just a really nice pair of high quality vintage Levi's. Got these Lee Riders, cute shorts. Um, I've sold these a few times on Etsy, that's why I grabbed them. Just a really cute pair of everyday shorts. Oh, got these at Savers, and I've been meaning to tell you guys the prices. I got those Y2K jeans for four bucks. I got these Levi's for $9.79, which is definitely up there. I can't go into a Savers without spending almost $100 um, 
Um, I, I find that their prices are really high, but the stores are so huge that there's just so many options. So I paid $4.79 for these shorts. And I got this from the Salvation Army, but I believe the tag has fallen off because I can't can't see it anywhere. But um, probably paid between four and five dollars for it. But um, vintage LL Bean corduroy, beautiful magenta colored skirt with pleats. Just sold one of these exact skirts in more of a teal color. Um, they do pretty well for me, so I was excited to find that. I'm such a sucker for vintage L.O. Bean. I just love it so much. The quality is unmatched. It's just amazing. I got these from The Savers for $4.79. Really cute shorts with a unique um, tie front style. And they're bare back and they have cute little velcro pockets on the sides these so excited about these i never ever ever find vintage denim overalls they're so hard to find and then as soon as i list them they just sell immediately but i got these for 4.29 from savers and they are absolutely adorable they're that's that brand called squeeze it's literally called squeeze squeeze jeans let me see if i can find you yeah squeeze jeans those are so cute i'm so excited to get those listed and do a little denim uh, jeans and shorts drop soon also got this from savers for 5.99 i just couldn't i couldn't leave it it was just too cool so it's Kind of like a three-quarter sleeve top with puff sleeves and shoulder pads. And it's a knit material. It's really interesting. But the shape is really nice. It's got like a gathering at the waist and a really full skirt. So I'm really excited to try this one on. And I think it's a really special and unique piece. It might not be great for this season, but I think it'll do well a little bit later on. And this I picked up at the bins. It is an Ann Taylor linen dress. It's, I, I like to pick up linen pieces. It's just a really high quality material. This one's lined with acetate. Um, and I just really like that double breasted kind of mini dress look. So I was excited to grab that for $1.70, not bad. Also grabbed this from the bins. In theory, I think it will look cute. It's not like a super old or super special piece, but it is a denim vest button front, but I really liked the cinch buckle in the back. I feel like that can really um, change the way these fit and make them super flattering. And it'll be fun to layer with this, I think, um, for all different seasons. So I wanted to grab that one. I got these from Savers for $6.49. They are vintage Lee high-waisted mom jeans, tapered leg, and they have that um, elastic in the waist. They're bareback, and I just love that leather Lee patch. I will always pick up Lee jeans, some of my favorites to find. These are really interesting. I don't know if maybe you guys know anything about these, but these are Puma jeans. I got them for $6.29 from Savers. They have this interesting metal thing and they have purple stitching all throughout. Like you can kind of see it on the inside how it's purple, but they're really interesting. So it's like a rubber Puma and it has another rubber piece on the back that says Puma, but they're a high rise tapered leg style. Crazy. I don't know. I'm not sure what they're worth. I haven't looked them up yet, but I'm going to find out. I thought they were too cool to leave behind. They're, they're definitely a junior size, so I won't be able to model them, but we'll figure out how to wait, a way to make those look good online. Okay, last bag. Picked this up at the bins again. I probably shouldn't have grabbed it, but it weighs nothing, and I was excited. But it's a black velvet hat and it's by London Fog. So 
I thought it was cute. I don't know. <laughs> I got these from the bins. Shoes, buying shoes at the bins. What are your thoughts? Is it worth the extra weight um, to throw a big pair of vintage shoes in there? I don't know. I thought these were worth it. They're really pretty. I like the shorter uh, boot length and they're in pretty good condition. So I was excited about those. And I had another pair already um, that it would be nice to just list these together. So I threw those in my cart at the bins and I'm sure it made my, <laughs> my bill higher, but I think that's okay. So this is an Eddie Bauer, I believe this one is 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton, made in USA, Eddie Bauer flannel. This is the kind of thing that I will throw in my booth at the Fairfield Antique Mall. Just a really nice cotton flannel in a beautiful and classic colorway. And it's got, you know, like it's a little bit faded, but I think that's fine. I think that's kind of the look and always, always happy to find high quality cotton flannels. This is kind of an interesting one. This is 100% um, cotton by Repose. I don't know. Repose. -y. <laughs> it's in a nice forest green color, but it says Maine, the way life should be, which I think is awesome because I love Maine and I love living here and I'm very just proud to live in Maine and maybe I should keep this. Let's see. Maybe I should keep it. I don't know. It doesn't really suit. It doesn't really flatter me, but it's comfortable and it's Maine. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll end up in my booth at the antique mall. We shall see. Another flannel. This I got for $4.99 from Salvation Army. My mom thought she wanted it. She didn't end up liking it. So it will be going to my booth at the antique mall. It's kind of like a purple with a light color, which is nice. I got this at the bins. Oh, this brightly colored, not super going along with the aesthetic of my shop, but again, I'm learning. I need to not get too, ex too excited about cheap vintage at the bins and really focus on curating my stuff, which I do most of the time, but then I go into a, into a Goodwill outlet and it's like all out the window, but I think it's fun. I think it's cute. Um, I'm going to take it to the antique mall and see if someone from Colby College wants it. Colby College is in Waterville and it's super close to my booth. So I think a lot of the kids come into the mall and buy clothes. So that's exciting. <laughs> A white thermal. I always grab these when I see them. I think they're great staple pieces. I sell them on Etsy all the time as long as they're in good condition and don't have too much staining. I will always grab those. And I got two, the last thing are two really super soft acrylic flannels. This one I got for $5.99 from Savers. It's got, um, that like polyester lining on the neck, and so does this one. Got this also for $5.99 from Savers, and they're really, really nice colors. Very classic plaids. So now that I've made a huge mess, um, we shall be wrapping this up. Um, I just wanted to show you everything I got on this sourcing trip. It was super fun. I went with my mom, she's my partner in crime, and she's gonna be coming with me to Brimfield in July, so. So grateful to have her in my life and to go on all these adventures with her. It's super, super fun and she helps me pick, she helps me source, um, so it's always a good time. So I ended up spending $190 on all of the stuff throughout the three locations. And yeah, so I would say that's pretty good for 68 pieces total. 
So definitely come visit us at the July Brimfield Show, 11th to the 16th. We'd love to see you. And other than that, thanks for popping on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!